Fantasy Sims, and we are back with more Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony, and we were just about to log out, uh, and find that Mew's probably dead, and maybe Kaido, who the fuck knows, I don't know. Okay, so I suppose that's true, I don't have to worry about him, I have to hurry and log out, I have to check on Mew, uh, and no, we really need to worry about Kaido, fuck Mew, no offense to Mew, sorry Mew, I did like her, but, uh-oh. This is really glitchy and laggy. Shit. Suichi! Hold on, Suichi! We can only log out one person at a time. Um... Going to have next turn. Mm. Um, so going to just say name and phone and someone come get him? Hmm. Who cares? Just do it already! Going to... Um, going to Gokohara. Ah! <clears throat> oh, he disappeared! So that's what logging out looks like. Oh. So the avatars disappear when we log out. But Mew's avatar is still here and unmoving, right? What does that mean? Um. Anyway, let's hurry and go back. Um. Samugi Shirogane. Right? Okay, so I was watching somebody play, um. A mod for. Um. Oh, what the fuck? Well, I can't remember the name of the game now. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Why can't I remember the name of the game? Oh, my God. You know. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Why well, can't I remember? But it's... Oh, fuck. I'll, I'll remember. But anyway. And they did a mod, and she was trying to say the name, and she's like, to Samugi. And I'm like, oh, like Samugi, like this. And then I realized they used... And I was like, she's even got blue hair like Samugi. It's the same. It's Samugi Shirogane. They took the Danganronpa V3 character and put it in the mod. For this other game. That's pretty fucking funny. I'm like, that's funny, because I bet most people, unless they play this, wouldn't fucking know that. Anyway. Oh, Suichi, you can log out before me. I'm sure your detective's intuition is kicking in, right? So go ahead. Mm-hmm. Okay. Suichi! Oh, wait! Now that we're alone, I want to tell you something. Huh? What is it? <laughs> You're really useful. Huh? huh? Hey! So how about you stop hanging out with dumb old Kaido and be my friend instead? I think I can be useful too, you know? I can help you save everyone. Okay, Draco Malfoy, what the fuck? And you want to save everyone, right? I'm... Suichi Sayara. <laughs> 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 oh, I got rejected. But I won't give up that easily. When I find someone I like, I do anything to get them to notice me. Even strangle them. That wasn't creepy or anything. Oh. Oh. When I opened my eyes, I could see only black. I was logged out. The helmet on my head was blocking my vision. When I realized that, I quickly reached up and grabbed the helmet and pulled it off. But when I did, a nauseating sight was waiting for me. It better just be me. It better not be Kaido. Kaido better not be fucking dead. I can't handle it. Even strangle them. Is that what he said? Okay, we knew she was going to be dead. Okay. Oh, he's just not Kaido. Mew's cold, dead body. I told you someone was going to get fucking murdered. Knew that was going to happen. Because they go so fast now, and then the trials take longer, and I hate the fucking glass trials because I suck at them. Daybreak. The sun had risen while we were inside the virtual world. The fuck is Kaido? Ding dong dong dong. Ding dong dong ding! I just like how he says that. A body has been discovered! Everyone, please report to the computer room! Yeah. Wait, you're already here. Now wow, I get to bring you the body discovery announcement live! Yeah. Phew, doing it live is great! Better than beer and fucking! But not better than pizza, beer, and fucking. When you throw out a pizza, everything's better. <laughs> Huh? Daddy, have you always had such a potty mouth? Hey, um... I was holding back because we already had one vulgar cast member. But now it's my time to shine. 
That's Thankfully, nice. I'm adorable, so I can get away with saying all kinds of crude stuff. Yay! Finally, I get to be a foul-mouthed asshole! Yeah! What a vulgar last word! Hey. What's wrong, Monotaro? You're just staring blankly at the body. Huh? Just staring at the body? Oh, because Mew is his mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> we barely heard the announcement as we stared at Mew, dumbfounded. I shouldn't be laughing, Mew's dead, but that is so funny, the poor bear. <laughs> Mommy! We just stared at Mew's corpse. Where the fuck is Kaido? It's terrible. It's terrible. Why did it end up like this? Why? Mew, why? I'm gonna bet anything... Kokichi let Kaido log out. Or Kaido must have logged out at some point. He logged. He left logged out. Maybe Mew wasn't dead yet. But how would he have gotten in? I don't know. We're going to end up blaming him, but it's not going to be him. It's Kokichi. It's fucking Kokichi. Like, there's no fucking way. It's got to be him. I mean, come on. If it's not, I mean, at the same point, you're like, it can't be him because that's way too fucking obvious at this point that he did it. But at the same time, if he didn't do it, who fucking did? It's weird. Mew! Wh why? <laughs> What's going on? Why was Mew killed? <sighs> going to not understand either. Mew like this when going to wake up. Why? Hey, what going on? Why this happened? Yeah. Well, it's obvious a murder happened. Huh? A murder? Weird. What you mean? Did something happen while going to sleep? No. We weren't asleep, and that wasn't a dream. We were in the virtual world. Hey, hey where's Kaido? Ah, oh, that's right. Kaido! Almost as if on cue, we hear footsteps running fast down the hallway, the sound growing louder until the door burst open. Hey! Hey, what's this all about? What was that body discovery announcement? What? What? Mew? What the hell's going on here? Ah. You're too late, okay? All the others finished gasping in terror already. By the way. But anyway, where were you this whole time, Kaido? What were you doing? So... I was just taking a nap. Huh? Taking a nap? Um... You were sleeping? Gonta was sleeping too. Had a strange dream. Gonta not understand anything. Um... As I said, that was the virtual world. Which means... So you logged out by yourself and then took a nap without our permission. You know... I suddenly got logged out before I realized that I was back here. Uh, um... You were logged out involuntarily? Uh, okay. To make it look like he's the murderer. Unless he really is the murderer, but I don't think he's smart enough to have figured out. So I think they made it, they pulled him out to make him look like he was the murderer. So he'd be like, oh... Okay, whatever, I'm gonna go take a nap, and then Mew dies, and it would look like he did it. Yeah, I didn't know if it was okay to log back in, so I went back to my room and slept. Damn it. When, when that body discovery announcement woke me up, I rushed over here. <sighs> hey, Kaido, if you're gonna lie, then you might as well do it better. Do you think you can make the killing game more exciting with a crappy lie like that? You are such a shady bastard. Hold on! It's not a lie! I really was sleeping! Hey. Hold on a minute. We can discuss whether or not that's a lie later. What we need to do right now is begin the investigation. We need to discover who killed Mew. <laughs> <laughs> you seem ready. Well, of course you are. Why? One of your dear friends was killed. So it's finally time for you to shine. Hmm. Explain it however you'd like, Kokichi. The fact is, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be executed. No. But I won't let that happen. I'll find the culprit so that we can all survive. It's way too fucking obviously Kokichi, so I feel like it can't be Kokichi, but it's probably Kokichi, and that's probably what they want. They want you to be like, it's too obvious it's not Kokichi! And then it's fucking Kokichi. Because it can't be Kaido. It can't fucking be Kaido. You can't, no, Kaido can't have killed anybody. No, he can't. He can't. Why would he kill someone? Even if he was like, I can't die now, and he was worried about dying, he wouldn't kill someone just to be like, well, put me out of my misery. Just fucking take some of the poison in my office. I mean, Jesus. Come on. Uh, even if the culprit is Kaido? Don't screw around! Huh? What? Okay! Now, now, please save your arguments for the class trial. In the meantime... Ta-da! The Monokuma file! With this, 
You can even investigate up Mew's asshole! Huh? huh? Even there? Now then! Well then, do your best! I'm certain you guys will make this turn of events very interesting! Asshole! I'm sorry. Just throws in a random asshole. Oh, I fucking love it. Daddy! Daddy seems to be really enjoying that dirty word. Mommy! Mommy! Yeah. Okay, everyone, let's do this! I'll find the culprit this time, no matter what! It's you, you son of a bitch! I mean, I can't, if it's anybody else, I'm just, I'm still going with him, because he's a shady fucking bastard. But then again, it's not gonna be fun without him. Like, why would he do that? I just don't understand. I don't know. We'll figure it out. What are you being so cheery about? What? Well, what are you sad about? You guys hated her. Not as much as you hate me, but still! Stop it! That's not the issue! Of course, I thought she was loud and annoying, but... I mean... I never wanted her to die. I wanted us all to escape together. Yes. Mew was certainly brash and spirited, but she wasn't a bad person. Listen closely. <laughs> Cleaned my grooves. Oh. Believe me, I had her perform maintenance on my body. <laughs> yeah. I think she did a little bit more, but... So I know. I know very well. <laughs> I want to cry, but I can't. I should have had Mew install a crying function. Oh. Huh. Wouldn't your tears cause you to short circuit? No. Not at all. My body is completely waterproof. Jeez, oh, isn't the time for that. <sighs> Gonta can no forgive this. Gonta never forgive this. Never forgive culprit either. Gonta, idiot. Gonta never forgive self. Gonta swear to protect everyone, but Gonta fail to protect Mew. Gonta no could protect anyone again. Gunta is failure as gentlemen. I'm so tired of this awful feeling. There's gonna be. I am so tired of Gunta whining. I really thought he was. I thought he was gonna say, I'm so tired of like Gunta like at being down on himself all the time. And I was like, that's harsh. I mean, dude. Ugh, I have to do something. I can't let this. Suichi! Suichi! Don't carry the burden all by yourself. Huh? Huh? Listen up. You're my sidekick. Don't forget. Yeah. We're gonna do it together. If we work together, we can solve this. Ah. No way, Jose. What? what? Well, you know. Suichi's the most reliable person in a class trial, you know. Why would we let such an important person work together with a suspect like you? Huh? Suspect? You're saying that if I was the culprit, Suichi would hide the truth to protect me? Don't screw around. Bullshit. Don't underestimate Suichi. Yeah, exactly. Hi. Hi. We let Kai... Um, hello. Yeah, exactly. We let Kaede die, thank you very much, and we wanted to fuck her. We don't want to fuck Kaido. We would let him die, even though he's like our bestie. You, on the other hand, I would gladly throw you to the wolves. Even if I was the culprit, he's the type of guy that sees things through. Um, here's the thing. We'd be the perfect murderer. Because we'd be like, going through- No, wait, that's not true. <gasps> Kaido, I can't believe you killed someone! Oh my god! And then everyone would vote for Kaido and be like, Ha ha! These bitches, it was me! I want to be the murderer. I really do. I want us to be- I'm the mastermind? Of course I am. I'm the best evil genius ever. Woohoo! <laughs> that would be the best. You're the detective. Everyone trusts you. Everyone, like, he's the most reliable person in a class trial, and you get down to the end, and you're like, oh my god, I can't believe- I can't believe you would kill Mew, Kaido, that is so wrong. And then everyone would blame him and you'd all, they'd all die and we'd be like, Psh, peace out motherfuckers, I'm out. What? I won. I won. Uh-huh, you trusted me, sons of bitches. I just had to wait till you trusted me. <laughs> um, I think that's the same thing that crazy serial killers would think and that just concerns me now. I'm probably on government watch list now. Anyway. <laughs> like, <laughs> I play these games too much. Oh, we need to go play a romancy game. That's got to get you on some kind of live watch list. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You play a game about murder, and you're, like, making all these crazy comments like that. And then you go and play these weird romancy Atome games. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. A lot of things. A lot of things. Anyway. Even if I was the culprit, he's the type of guy that'd see things through. Hmm. But remember Kaede's class trial? Shut up! He saw us through that, didn't he? I believe in Suichi. Okay. If Kaido. <laughs> <laughs> I love to believe. Don't you, Kaido? Oh, you love to believe. You really don't get it. But that belief can turn against you, especially in this killing game, you know? <sighs> <sighs> Got no idea what you're talking about. I don't get it at all. 
fine. If you're gonna get all worked up over it, then me and Suichi won't team up. But... B but... Don't worry about don't it. Don't worry. It's just for now. <laughs> but hearing him say all that, I can't stay quiet. I believe in you. That said, try to get through this on your own. Clear me of suspicion with your own power. <laughs> <laughs> if you can be cleared. I feel like this will be the shortest class trial. Kokichi did it! Everyone will be like, mm-hmm, yep. I don't like this at all. Feels like another one of Kokichi's tricks. Of course, this is Kaido we're talking about. Nothing I say could change his mind. Regardless, there's only one thing I can do. Can't be afraid. Can't get lost now. I was gonna say... Kaido believes in you. He's not the one... It's not like, oh god, I don't know how to investigate on my own. You can fucking investigate on your own. You've done everything on your own fucking so far. It's just Kaido was patting you on the back the whole time, standing there like your cheerleader. You just don't have your cheerleader. You can still play the game, motherfucker. In order to protect everyone, I have to do something. I have to do something. First, I should check the Monokuma file. The victim is the ultimate inventor, Mew Iruma. Oh, the body was discovered. Oh, the body was discovered in the computer room on the fourth floor. Approximate time of death is 6:30 a.m. There are no external wounds on the body. No external wounds. Killed around 6:30 in the morning. Hmm. The time of death happened 30 minutes before now, while we were still in the virtual world. Um. Kokichi, what do you want? Ah. You don't have to be so wary of me. It's not like I'm gonna get in your way, Suichi. Um. It's just, I hate lies so much that I tend to suspect others a lot. Kaido said he wouldn't team up with you for this case, but I can't trust those words. So that means... That's why I'm keeping an eye out, just in case he tries to bother you. Uh, um. Keeping an eye out. It's true! Don't take it the wrong way, though. I'm not trying to replace Kaido as your partner, okay? All right! But I'll help you as much as I can. So where are you going to investigate now? Also, it's really shady that he said I would even strangle them, and then he fucking strangled you. Or it's suspicious that he said that, and they want you to be like, Oh, he totally did, and then he's not the one who did it. I just, I can't figure it out sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he seems the obvious sort, but... Uh, and he did this on purpose. He wanted us in the virtual world... But it's still quite- but he was also the one in the salon, so it seems really fucking suspicious. It's, like, way too good of a setup. So don't you think- like, but he's too calm about it. So he should be the one freaking out, like, you were in the salon, you were the only one who could have logged out and choked her. True. Hmm. And then kicking- he could have pretended he was still in, he could have logged out, unplugged fucking Kaido, sat there and pretended he was still logged in, he was next to Kaido, wasn't he? He was on the side with us. So he could have ch -ch -ch, and then pretended he was still plugged in, waited for Kaido to leave, then fucking killed Mew, and then logged back in, and then been like, oh, and Kaido logged out. I mean, that's just fucking perfect. That's so never what happens. It's always like this, and you're like, a oh, fucking leap of, leap of lizards of logic. What the fuck? But, you know, anyway, I'll help you as much as I can. So where are you going to investigate now? Anywhere without you, asshole. What is he up to? Why is he following me? Monokuma file 4 has been added. Okay. Let's check out Mew. Mew's hands are clasped around her neck, as if she were gasping for air. Her eyes are wide open in panic, so she must have suffered quite a bit. Wow. Ew, it's one grody face. You must have suffered a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a vulgar death fit for a vulgar bitch. Hey! Stop, Kokichi. Even if you're joking, that's too far. It's nothing. You're right. You should never speak ill of the dead, no matter how much you hated them. Right? Even if she was a despised, pathetic, dirty cum toilet of a person. Holy shit. I suppose I'll never get Kokichi to change. But, but what's Mew's cause of death? Doesn't say in the Monokuma file. Um, um may I? I wanted to let you know, just in case it turns out to be a clue. By the way... Um, I was on the first one to log out and find Mew's body. She was still wearing the helmet, and her body was contorted into this awful position. Maki logged out after I did, and she helped me take Mew's helmet off. <laughs> and then, she was gone. Hey, hey! Is that a confession? Hey. How is that a confession? Anyway, the question is the cause of death. It caused her to suffer like this. Uh, choking. Mew's corpse. Mommy! 
talk to everybody. I never thought you would be killed. When I saw her avatar there, not moving. I thought maybe, but... You're right. That's right. You saw the Mew's avatar in the virtual world and stopped moving. Mm. Me, Kibo, Maki, I'll find her avatar. Hey! Can you tell me more about that? Any details? Hi. We were looking for the secret of the outside world at the chapel. Hey! Mew was too, right? No. No, Mew volunteered to look around the outside of the chapel, so she wasn't with us. Mew volunteered to look around outside. We searched, but we couldn't find anything. And right when we were starting to get tired, all of a sudden we heard a really loud sound outside. It must be the sound I heard as well. Something must have hit the wall of the chapel really hard. I felt it all the way from inside. Something hitting the chapel wall. So we all rushed outside to check the side of the chapel. We found Mew's avatar. Uh, um, That's when you went to log out to check Mew's real body, correct? But, but when we went to the river, the bridge was gone for some reason. Uh, and while we were standing around wondering what to do, you guys showed up. Um... Mew obviously moved the bridge and because she's in league with Kokichi about something. And then he backstabbed her. Thank That's you. all I can think of. I see. Thank you. Oh. That testimony sounded important, especially about how they couldn't cross the river. Because? Because if they weren't able to cross, then no one could have gone between the mansion and the chapel. <laughs> and this helps us narrow down the people who could have come into contact with Mew. Who could have come into contact with Mew at the chapel? Chapel? Okay. Gonzo looks pissed. Hey! Gonzo, are you alright? You're so dumb. Are you still depressed about Mew? Come on, don't be such a Debbie Downer. God, he's way. annoying. Oh, oh Gonzo, I want to know what you think. Rare, I know. But who do you think is the culprit? Gonzo, don't know. Gonzo, not know. Murder already happened when Gonzo wake up. How did this but happen? Why this happen? Why Mew killed? Gonzo, not understand. Gonta not understand anything. How can this be? But Gonta frustrated and sad. Gonta could no protect Mew. Hmm. He seems all over the place right now. Man, he can't think at all when he's like this. It's true. But Gonta doesn't seem to be lying. I'm pretty sure he's telling us the truth. Well, I guess a big dumb dumb like Gonta doesn't have the brains to lie in the first place. Hey! Don't talk about him like I'm that. Disappointed. I'm so disappointed in you, Gonta. When I first met you, I thought you'd be more useful. Sorry. So sorry. Gonta, Gonta's so sorry. Gonta's sorry he could no protect Mew. Gonta. Hey! If you feel that bad about it, then stop blaming yourself. Help us find the culprit instead. This is the culprit's fault anyway. Just pull yourself together and help us, okay? Mm. Okay. Gonta understands. Gonta do his best. Gonta do his best to find culprit. Gonta definitely do his best this time. I can't believe somebody hasn't killed him. He's so trusting. It'd be so easy to learn. Like, hey, Gonta, no, hold. See how long you can hold your breath underwater. Hold on. Oh, did he drown? I have no idea what happened. Please. You could like convince him to jump. Like, Gonta, see if you can fly. I bet you could fly. Jump off. I don't. Gonta looks like he killed himself. No one would ever fucking know. I mean, Jesus. See, Suichi is gonna kill fucking Gonta, and then they're all gonna blame somebody else, and then we're gonna get away with it and be like, we're the best murderer ever. <laughs> we were also the mastermind. God, I want Suichi to be the mastermind so fucking bad. I mean, we were Kaede, and then she murdered someone, and you were like, what? And then you got to be Suichi. <laughs> you know, I just, I so I want Suichi to be, like, the fucking mastermind just because. Just fucking because. Just because. It would be, like, one fucking twist. Like, the other game. Like, look, think about the second one. The twist was... Well, the first one was the twist of the girl who died in the beginning. Wasn't actually the girl who died in the beginning, but she was the evil mastermind. And then the second one was, we're all assholes, and we've been put in this world to make us better, but we're still assholes? What? We thought we were good people! And this would just be fucking brilliant. Wait, I'm the mastermind? Oh, I am. Damn. Now it just, I don't know. Yeah. Yep, now that's the spirit. Now Kokichi is encouraging him? I really don't know what Kokichi is thinking. But I want him to go away. That's right. Suichi, I gotta explain. Just so you don't misunderstand. Uh, um, explain what? Ah. You're talking about how you logged out by yourself, right? Okay, let's hear it then. What? Well, why are you... Yeah. Feel free to lie, of course. Exposing lies is the real pleasure of this game, after all. Don't screw around! Huh? What? Hey. Kaido, just ignore him and talk to me, okay? I mean... About the whole logging out thing. 
I didn't really get it myself. When I was looking for the secret of the outside world on the rooftop, a circle lit up under me. I was suddenly sucked in, and before I knew it, I was locked out. Same thing happened when I used the phone to log out. How did that happen on the roof? Uh, um, and what happened after you logged out? So... Everyone else was still logged in, but I didn't know if it was okay for me to log back in. So I just went back to my room and slept. Since it was dawn, I was pretty tired. Um, And the body discovery announcement woke you. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I heard it and rushed back hey. here. Do you remember what condition Mew's body was in when you logged out? My bad. Nah, I didn't pay attention to that, so I don't know. Uh... You didn't notice anything wrong? Like whether she was dead or not? Shut up! Like I said, I don't know. Well, if she was sitting there, I mean, if she had her arms in her throat, he probably would have noticed, but if she was just sitting there... Ah. Okay, sorry. So I just need to object to the contradiction in that testimony, right? Don't screw around. You said I'm not lying. Tell him, Suichi. Suichi. No, Suichi. In order to find the truth, you can't be biased. I still think Okichi log Kaido out to make him look guilty. Hey, hey Monotaro? What's going on with you? This place is upsetting my stomach. No, you're endangering your entire existence as a mascot character. Oh, wait, did he say that? I don't know. Monotaro. Just trying to get to her. Maki was working on the computer, her hand moving the mouse around rapidly. Um, you know how to work that computer, Maki? Nope. No, not really. Never used this program before either. Hmm. I see. I imagine that it would be difficult to understand unless you were an expert. Well. But I did find the text file regarding this program. It has information about the program's basic features, but other than that, there's not much. Oh. Oh, so what did it say? Ah. If you don't want to tell me, at least tell it to Suichi. <sighs> Sorry, I'm stretching. According to this text file, oh, my shoulders hurt today. Killing Game Simulator uses a certain program as the base. It's called Neo World Program. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Neo World Program? Hmm, never heard of it. Well, this Killing Game Simulator, objects can't break. Your body's five senses are connected to your avatar, and your avatar cannot be harmed. But any damage inflicted on your avatar will be transferred to your body in the real world. That matches what Mew told us. That's true. If your avatar receives fatal damage, then your real body would die from shock. Huh? From shock. Oh. Oh, this is the first time we're hearing about this. If someone receives a fatal injury in the virtual world, then they die in the real world. Hmm. Well, your five senses are connected, so it makes sense you'd feel the same amount of pain. Right? So it wouldn't be too surprising if you died from the fatal injury. Oh, man. But the more important question is... Why did Mew keep such an important detail a secret? Because you fucking told her to. That is strange. I have no idea why she wouldn't mention such an important detail. Did she hide that from us on purpose? Well... That's all it says about the virtual world's basic features. The rest of the virtual world is the same as the real world, including the laws of physics. Warps and special transportation, like mounts, do not exist. I see. So you can only move around using your avatar. How boring. She should have added warps and mounts to the virtual world. That's all it says in this text file. Thank you. Thank you, Monkey. That was very helpful. Simulator. Uh, okay. But is the info in the text file correct? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Nuh-uh. I'm not doubting you or anything, Maki, but I'm just saying that file could have been rewritten. It's possible someone rewrote the original info with false info, you know. But... But to determine that, you would need extensive knowledge of computers. It's my time to shine! This looks like a job for me! Huh? What? Mm -hmm. Huh? Stop it. Don't get in our way. Mm. I won't get in the way. In fact, I want you to let me help with the investigation. Oh. Help with the investigation? Monotaro, what are you saying? Hey. Come on, please. Won't you let me help with the investigation? Ever since I forgot I'm bad with computers, I'm good with computers what now. What are you talking about? That logic doesn't make any sense. No way! No, you can't, Monotaro! We're not allowed to help the participants. As mascots, we gotta stick to that rule. I don't care. I don't give a fart about the rules. I want to help everyone. I want to avenge my dead mommy. Huh? Your mommy? You mean you? Not that. No, Monotaro. You've forgotten again. You've forgotten that she's not our mother. I want you. And you've forgotten about the important person you need to protect. <laughs> Shut up, you pig! I'm busy avenging Mommy's death! <laughs> How sad. 
but it looks like this is goodbye. I love you, but there's someone I need to protect. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. I'll be to say goodbye. Um. All righty then. Let's do this. Huh? Do what? So what? I don't care either way. If you want to help him, that's fine. Hmm. True, I suppose, but... Thanks! Thanks! I'll do my best for Mommy's sake! No. Well, wait, perhaps we should... <laughs> He's doing his best for his dead Mommy! I'm so touched! <laughs> right now, you're on the uh, threshold. Okay. Alright, fine. I'll leave it to you, then. I suppose I have no choice. Alright! Alright! I'll start analyzing the computer right away! That's totally how I type at work, so it's legit. This stinky little computer is no match for my hands! He's totally gonna yeah. break it. His hands are going at such an intense speed that the friction is creating fire! Alright! I've already analyzed a few things. Huh? Already? Okay. The text file is consistent with the original program. It doesn't look like it was altered. Yay! Oh, so I found this too! Is this? This looks like the information of when everyone logged in and out. Okay. Five seventeen. He logged out almost an hour before everybody else. Yeah. There's no sign that this was altered either. It's definitely accurate information. Hey, could you show it to me? I know. I was looking at the tiny thing. Yeah. Mew logged in after everyone else. I mean, it really does have everyone's login and logout times recorded. Well... Aside from you, everyone is logged in and out at once. You're right. Then it would appear that no one secretly logged out and then logged back in. Interesting. That's... Mm-hmm... My main concern becomes Kaido logged out ahead of us. No, it couldn't be him. That does look suspicious, but yeah. So I'm just trying to think about how. Um. Also, there's something else I noticed while I was analyzing the program. So... Looks like some parts of the program were rewritten. Huh? The program's been rewritten. Oh. Yeah, you said you did. Obviously, Mew was the only person capable of doing that. Hey, hey. So which files did she rewrite and what did she change? Okay. I'll analyze that, of course, but it's gonna take a little time. Yeah. Well, as long as it's done by the class trial, then Suichi will be able to avenge Mew. He's just saying whatever he pleases. All right, Suze. All right! All right! Then I'll keep on analyzing the crap out of this program. <laughs> You're so reliable. That's true. Yeah, way more than you. Now. Um, I'm actually going to wrap this part up here, and we will continue, and we will continue investigating when we come back in the next part, so I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up, and subscribe to see more!